Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So this is my uh, quick little workout of Romanian deadlifts. As you may have seen quite a few videos of mine, I have to start doing Romanian deadlifts because my conventional deadlift still gives me a little bit of pain and stiffness on my sacroiliac joint. So there is a lot that I have learned from Romanian deadlifts. I never had to do them because I was, uh, I was quite, uh, let's say, dogmatic about just do deadlifts, conventional deadlifts. And I would have just done them if I had not experienced pain. I don't know what weight is this, but I don't really care. I just want to talk about a few things. What I want to talk about is the things I've learned from Romanian deadlifts. <clears throat> I have been, um, just a little reference, I have watched quite a few of Ivan Jiric's videos. You know, the guy who squats every day, he's a legend. So he, he quite often he will get into a new exercise and he will rave about it, how he feels and how he thinks he is amazing. And I like his style and my style is slightly different. I like to experience things for a little longer and then open my mouth. Uh, I'm not saying that what he does is wrong. That's just his style. And I think he may have spoken about something that I liked and I, I think I'm experiencing that. Lower back pump. And I'm experiencing it mostly because of Romanian deadlift. And I know the function uh, because of why I'm feeling the pump. But it was hard for me when he said he's feeling it in lower back because we don't feel much thing in our lower back except pain. And there was a point of time when I was quite ignorant to make a kind of assumption in my mind something I never shared with anyone, so luckily I didn't open my mouth. I used to think that our lower back is less innervated. What I mean by that is innervation means uh, nerve endings and their presence and their function in the body parts. So we don't have much of them, I think, by my latest reading, we don't have much of them in our ligaments, uh, let's say, uh, in our... Uh, tendons and fascia whereas we are very we have a very rich and dense supply of nerve endings basically motor neurons these motor neurons are like soldiers i like to call them soldiers not messengers who take the messages of sensation and movement so i'm glad that i open my mouth now open my mouth now when i actually uh, debunked my own assumption that lower back is not innervated, but it is. So that's a good one. So I was thinking, why are we? Am I feeling the pump? I was feeling the pump as he described, and like I said, I did Romanian deadlift. I've done it many times to feel that pump. I do feel them in my abs when I really brace hard, but it is very momentarily because you have to brace under the bar and when you put the bar back it's fine but when it comes to lower back um, this is a new sensation and i was able to relate to what ivan was saying i've had this sensation and feeling in doing a superman position where i'm on my tummy arms are slightly out in the front and I'm raising my legs slowly. I should have a video somewhere of it. I felt there as well. And hence I realized the lower back is not only richly innervated, it is also richly vascularized. Now that's another term that I have learned recently and I'm glad to have used it. Most muscles have a very good supply of blood. So they are very, very vascular. That's why they look so pumped. Uh, we may not be able to say, but I'm being careful here, we may not be able to say the same thing for cartilage and tendons and ligaments, basically the connective tissues. Perhaps the reason why it takes so long to uh, recover the damaged ligament, tendon and cartilage is because they have lesser of a blood supply and perhaps they have lesser of innervation. So the messages, the, mo the motor neurons, the soldiers, to repair are a lot less to go there whereas to our muscles there are a lot of them and lumbar spine is one of them so i'm glad i learned that now i'm thinking okay why 
why only in uh, Romanian deadlifts? Obviously, you have to do the movement properly. I think there are very few exercises where our lower back is held very tight and rigid in isometric contraction than any other exercises, not even in a conventional deadlift. So when you are lowering the bar down or coming back up, the back, the entire back, especially lower back, is in isolation, is an isometric contraction, I should say. It doesn't work in isolation, it cannot. So the length of the muscle does not increase or decrease. Now, if we look at our daily life and movement, we never actually make our lower back, lower back work hard. If we are squatting, it is pressure from the top. And if you are just sitting, there isn't much. And let's say we can generalize and say most people are sedentary. And when I did for the first time, my lower back was on fire in a good way. It was not painful. And I think I will continue doing Romanian deadlifts. Thanks to Nick Vlad, Niku Vlad from Romania, I have posted a story of how uh, Romanian deadlift came into existence. It's a very interesting account. I love some strength stories. There are not many of them. So I've made a video on that. So if you can, please click the link now on your left. Yes, on your left. That'll be great. And you'll get to know how Romanian deadlift came into existence. And I hope you like this video. This is probably 130, 140, 130, I think. Nice and light. And yes, absolutely loving Romanian deadlifts and getting the lower back pump. Thanks to Ivan. Thanks to Niku Vlad. And thanks to myself to finding this out. I'll see you next time. Stay strong.